Prompting a full school evacuation in Marinette County today. It happened at Wasaki Junior Senior High School. The scare turned out to be a hoax, but not before forcing 475 students and staff outside for two hours. NBC 26's Billy Wagnes joins us live in the newsroom with reaction from students and parents. Stacy, all students were sent home today with a letter explaining today's ordeal and offering a hundred dollar reward for information leading to who is behind this bomb threat written on a bathroom stall inside the high school portion of the building. At noon today, Wasaki senior Connor Kempinski says students and teachers were evacuated to the football field across from the building. I saw the like cops come in, I'm like, oh, this is strange, you know. Police searched with a canine bomb unit before giving the all clear hours later. My mom couldn't get in, so she was texting me, are you okay, are you okay? I'm like, yep, mom, I'm fine, I'm here. During the evacuation, parents were kept up to date via email and text alerts from the school. I got a phone call of the situation, and later on, everything was resolved, and the school did a good job. And everyone was taking it very seriously, but you could see somewhere like, is this real? With Oregon's latest school shooting, Superintendent Ann Cox says you can't be too safe. Sometimes this kind of a situation can really reveal any weakness in your procedures or your strength in your procedures, and I would say we got an A+. Plus. And Wasaki isn't alone. Students in Grafton also forced out of their classrooms this morning after this threat was discovered on a bathroom wall at John Long Middle School. And students at Pewaukee High School entering through metal detectors today after a note threatening a shooting was discovered. School leaders across Wisconsin saying you can never be too careful. Now, the fear, say area school leaders, is that this type of hoax will see a surge in popularity. Now, if there are further incidents like these, it could lead to added time at the end of the school year. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Billy Wagnus, NBC 26.